Uh, nobody there. Who was the artist? Okay, no, nah, Yellow Beezy. What? Yes, nigga, Yellow Beezy. You could add sexy red shit to tell you. Was that in his song was out? That one song? The yeah, first song? that's when like that's on me first came out. And, and was wasn't nobody crazy. there? Nigga, when I say nobody there, like zero people. Like it was to the point where when Sexy Rare was performing, Yellow Beezy was out there watching her. Damn. <laughs> my mama. I swear to God, you guys since you're right. It's on video somewhere. I don't know yeah. where it's at, but it's on video. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I don't know what was going on that day. And that was like a college event, too. How's it uh, uh, doing the show with Pooh Shiesty? Oh, man. That first show was crazy. For real? Because the first show, we when he came out here, it was like right when he just, just like the tipping point of him taking off for real. Like that's right before he came real industry, but he was still in the streets type shit. Mm -hmm. So that first show was like ridiculous. I ain't gonna lie, it was crazy. It was all type of BS happening that night, though. I was just gonna say, I know it was a whole bunch of yeah. gang, 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 gang. No, going. it wasn't even BS like that. Basically, uh -huh. I could tell y'all now, we was, uh, so when we did it, it was still the Mystic at the time, before it was halftime. So, you know, the Mystic, they used to be strict as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, basically, my boy that was that I was promoting with, uh, he, uh, he had me selling tickets, and you know, I was like, what, 17 at this time? So mm -hmm. I'm selling them motherfuckers my age. Right. So I sold like at least like 100 tickets, oh, probably boy, more than that. Damn, boy, you were turning them on up. <laughs> but nigga, none of them could get in. Ah. Uh, yeah. I know they was hot. <laughs> what? Boy, I'm like, shit, damn. They still be talking about me for that. Hell nah. You just sold all tickets to people, KG. Man, they outside. <laughs> Heat it. They warm my phone up. How much was the tickets worth, though? I think that was like 25 a ticket. But oh, yeah. the, the event was so packed, everybody, you know, everybody wanted to be there. So yeah. And your ass ran up a bag. <laughs> oh God. Oh God, you ran up a bag. Yeah, they, mama, they think it's me. I'm like, man, it's not even me. But yeah, man. That was about that was a crazy night. But that was dope though, because that night was like going crazy. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what uh, what would you say the the pros and the cons to being a DJ? Uh alright. I'm gonna start with the pros. The pros for real for it's like shit, number one, being a DJ, you you know, that's just a perk right there. Like even if you don't know how to DJ, just to say you're a DJ, that can bring you a lot of shit. Like, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Then I say another pro, just me myself, I don't, I can't say other DJs, not all DJs, but I just love music. So when I can like turn people up with some shit I love to do mm -hmm. and See that they be turned. I like seeing people reaction. That's a pro for me. Seeing people reaction to that shit. But Catching a con, that, that energy. I got cons for days, man. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> people in general just ask you the dumbest shit as you DJing. I, I swear to God, like shit that you will not not know about. Like I remember mean, one time somebody asked me how much is how much is the chicken at the club? Like, <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't work in the kitchen. You're right. But not for real. Like, a, like, really, one thing that did really bug me is, like, somebody would come up to me and just ask for, like, to play something. I'd be like, I got you. And if I don't play it right after they said play that shit, they coming right back up. Bugging the fuck out of I'm you. I'm like, man. But, like, really, other than the bugging part, I don't really think it's too many cons. Okay. Honestly. I was just going to ask you that. I'm like, I know you get hella people coming to you like, man. Yeah, that's about it. it. Like, that's probably the most annoying part of me DJing, just the people coming up bugging me about shit, like songs and, like, I got you. That's yeah, my favorite yeah. line. You asking me, I got you. I'm going to play. You. It's going to get played. It just ain't going to get played yeah, right now. Damn, right. Yeah, but I got you, though. Do they be uh, hitting your hand pretty decent, though, some, some people? <laughs> Hell no, nah, man. Only a few. Only, only a few motherfuckers. Like the few. niggas that sure is about their music. Right, right, right. Other than that, hell no. Nah. He said, hell no. Nah. They just be like, man, you can play this for me. And then but no, nah, for real, for real, I'm the type of nigga, I be like, you ain't got to throw me no money. Like, if I see you really want your song played, right. I got you. And especially if I like this song here. I don't, I don't even want you paper. I fuck with this song. I got you. Do the female artists, are they a little different from the male artists? Do they? Mm, yes and no. Like female artists, it's like with female artists, they should already be going. You get what I'm saying? So you ain't really gotta 
they ain't gonna really ask you to play it. It's like you already gonna play it. Right. Versus some male artists, it's like some niggas be having songs with dissing. Like, yeah, this shit hot, but right. I don't know who in this club. You get know what I'm saying? I don't know who you might have said something about. And not this nigga, cause I done seen that happen to DJs before. Like, where they'll play a nigga song and it got dissing in the nigga. And his ops in the club. Man, or some shit like that. Damn, and it's man. like, man, that shit, you know, that shit gets serious, I'll especially be, over some shit you ain't had nothing mm-hmm. about, so I just alleviate all that shit. I ain't playing. Right, that, that's good. Yeah, you definitely got to stay neutral. Yeah, damn yeah. right. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't even, you know what I'm I mean, I done played a diss song before, but. Do you, uh, do DJs ever, like, collaborate, like? Yeah, all the time. You know what I'm saying? With each other? Yeah. Yeah, all the time. Like, it's just, you probably wouldn't know, because it's like, St. Louis really don't. I don't know. It's like, I, I wouldn't say they don't like it, but I guess you could say they don't like it. But you just really got to incorporate it. But yeah, yeah. We, we collab all the time. It's a few DJs that I done did like whole shows with. Right. Or just came in the club and we done turned up together. And it done been the same thing with them. You come in the club, shit, you want to go at it? You want to spin? Do y'all be having it. like uh, DJ battles and shit like that? I don't be on that shit. You don't be on that shit? St. Louis don't know what a real DJ battle is. They don't. Fuck well, nah. Yeah. Nigga could play one big boogie song and they gonna be like, oh yeah, he won. <laughs> Man, <laughs> right. Yeah. Niggas don't know how to do that shit yeah. for real. Do you got the, uh, the the turntables or do you use more the new age? I got to... both. I got some turntables and I got a uh, new age, like controller. controller. Which one you like the most? You like? A controllers for sure. I mean, turntables, I just got them just to, you know, see how to use them. Yeah. You know, just to make it better for the new age one. Right. Like, turntables, they, they cool. I don't see how the hell people used to do that, though. Like, what? bringing them big-ass, turn heavy-ass turntables and yeah. crates. And That's crazy. why I'm blessed as hell yeah. I ain't got to bring all that. Yeah. I wouldn't have showed up to a few shows. Right. Do you got any old, like, vinyl exclusive Damn, right. I got a whole vinyl collection. That's what's up. Yeah, that's a whole cool. vinyl collection. Yeah, yeah like yeah. doing the scratch on Damn <laughs> right. <laughs> and all Damn that. Damn right. How was that shit growing? I know your mama used to be like, man, that shit loud in the room, scratching that shit. Man, mm-hmm. my mama didn't really care. My daddy, boy, once it hit like 10, yeah. ain't heard no music in the house. He <laughs> said, yeah, yeah. like, fuck like, nah, fuck that, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Damn right, though. No, nah, my nah. mama, she used, to, I, she used to be like, you got to about 12. And after that, I got to get to bed, you know? How would you say you uh, market yourself, or how would a DJ market himself? Social media. Social media. And just making sure people hear your tag when you're in the club. Okay. A lot. Because, so. you know, like, I didn't even know if y'all done been in the club. Y'all really don't care who the DJ is, but, like, if you hear his name so many times, you'll be like, damn, that nigga was good. You get know what I'm saying? Right. Because don't nobody come in the club and really care about the DJ unless he playing some whack shit. That's when people care. Right. Because it's like, who the fuck is the DJ? But right. If they playing some good Kill shit. Kill the DJ. Yeah, like, yeah, it's only, that's the thing. People only care about DJ in the club if they playing some whack shit or they play something that, like, throw the whole club up. But other than that, motherfuckers really ain't caring. Like, you know? Mm-hmm. You got any other uh, artists that you, like, kind of, like, working with? coming up like you know what I'm saying is uh, they personal DJ no nah, not right now not really oh, you look at personal DJ like oh, yeah, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay yeah. I, that's what I was gonna say not really it's just like shit I mess with all the artists so much it's like if you need DJ for one night right you know if you if you ain't got no DJ and you got a show or something you need DJ for I got you because I know that should be real important to artists right. especially like song structure and the way the way it sound and shit like that right. you don't want to just know anybody have you linked up with a Chop Squad yet? No, I ain't like linked up with him like where we work, but I done been like in the same room as him. As him. I done talked to him, I DM'd him, all type of shit. But yeah, we we, we know each other though, for sure. That's what's up. How was it uh, working with Vine, man, before he passed, man? Oh, that was, a, I just did a show for him. That's straight crazy, because that's where I met Chop Squad DJ at. I met him at the show. We took a picture and everything, um, but shit, from, from the look, Few little seconds I had said something to him. He was cool. He had the city turn for yeah, sure. Yeah, he had the city turn. Yeah, he had the city turn for sure. Yeah. It was sad though, cause like he had, I think he passed away like two weeks after. It was like, damn, I just seen this nigga. Like I just, dang, yeah, man. I just seen this nigga.